Hi, Stephen here, and welcome to Worldview Outdoors. Today I'm giving you my initial one month preview of the men's Pacafil ultra lightweight puffer jacket. Enjoy. So, I'm going to try to do this entire review for this Pacafil men's ultra light puffer jacket while moving. So that should give you a lot of scenery here of Alaska. A lot of scenes in the 20s, 30s, even down in the teens. But no matter what the temperature, this jacket will keep us warm. We're going to go ahead and hit this trail and enjoy the video. So let's start with the specs. The men's Pacafield jacket weighs 20 ounces, which is 1 pound 4 ounces. The entire jacket is baffle designed on the exterior, but on the inside, as you can see, it is a solid internal lining, so the threads do not reach all the way through for the wind to pass through. You can see the jacket has an internal zip pocket, as you see here. The edges of the coat have a special lining that's antibacterial. Both sides of the jacket have a zip closure which is fleece lined and of course the lining is a Peruvian alpaca fiber. All of the jackets come with a special alpaca label on the sleeves. Each sleeve has a thinner layer of the Pacafil design for movement but it is still extremely warm. The hood as you can see is a complete wraparound hood. It is completely warm Keeps, you, keeps the snow off of your head and the rain as well. Unlike a regular down jacket, due to its complete shell, this thing does not compress very well. This jacket comes with a special Pacafil insulation, which is rated at 2.59 thermal CLO value. CLO value basically represents the measure of a clothing's thermal insulation. By way of comparison, my Enlightened Equipment Torrid Apex jacket only has a 1.64 CLO value. By way of comparison of other brands, there are no mountain hardware jackets with a better CLO value. Almost all of the Patagonia and the Arteryx jacket lines have lower CLO values as well. So this is a very warm jacket. By way of comparison as well, regardless of whether a brand uses Primaloft, Climashield, Polartec, or some other kind of film or insulation, this jacket by far is a warmer, cost-effective jacket to purchase on the market. What this high vacuum CLO value enables it to do is have half the size of down, but yet have a warmer jacket even when it's wet. The durable water repellent coating of the jacket is PFAS free. All of the lining that is alpaca is all from Peru. It all comes from fiber and alpacas from the farms of the Andes. The outer membrane shell is of a Silvador infused value to help prevent Malador generating bacteria. The special Blue Sign Certified Recycled Polyester blend of the jacket is healthy and safe, made from textile materials. So putting all of these features together and the benefits of this jacket, this jacket provides you warmth without the bulk. It puts you in a wonderfully comfortable range of feeling like you're in 70 degrees, even though you're down in the teens, the 20s, or even the 30s. It's moisture wicking, which enables you to work out hard without sweating inside your jacket. It makes you feel warm even when the down gets wet. It's an extremely breathable jacket, which I've tested over an entire month's period to make sure it functions well. This jacket is a perfect all-in-one shell. Now this concludes our one month review in both 10 degrees, 20 degrees, and 30 degrees weather here in Alaska for the men's Pacafil ultralight puffer jacket. If you like this video, don't forget to 
like this video and subscribe to our channel and to check out other videos for hikes and reviews. See you on the trail. Quick disclaimer, I was not paid to make this video, to make this review, and the jacket I'm wearing, I paid for with my own money.